This is Valley News Live, 10 at 10. They would ask girls for like, a job or sex or anything like that. A former student at Hillsboro, North Dakota High School is speaking out about how much she says the district has known and covered up claims of sexual harassment. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. An ongoing investigation with the Hillsborough Police Department and the North Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation is looking into accusations that a football player recorded his underage girlfriend performing a sex act and sending the video to teammates. After our original report, numerous viewers contacted us claiming similar things have been going on in the district for years. One woman says she was forced to leave the school system because the harassment was so bad. Valley News Team's investigative reporter Ashley Bishop has our story and the emails that show what was going on behind the scenes of the investigation. High school is a time for studying and activities with friends, but sharing nude pictures? A former student of the school says many years ago, older boys approached girls in her grade asking for naked photos. When I was in seventh grade, uh, I started receiving text messages from older boys particularly like junior and senior boys and they'd try to like kind of like sweet talk me and get me to send them pictures. The former student asked us to hide her identity and change her voice in fear of her safety so we will refer to her as Jane Doe. Jane says that some of her classmates did send the revealing pictures and they were eventually shared. The boys just kind of would keep harassing the girls and wouldn't leave him alone and keep bugging him, like, for years afterward. Jane explains that sports teams shared them more well together at sports camps. She says that she just thought it was a select grade of guys that were participating. But a couple years after she went through the school, the same situation happened to other younger students she knew. I think that what you're looking into is something that's likes to be covered up. And, you know, it's... Something that no one likes to talk about, and I think it's something that really needs to be talked about because it's just going to keep happening. So we decided to dig. We requested documents like years of school board meeting minutes and emails sent between the school superintendent and the school board president. While digging through meeting minutes, we learned District Superintendent Paula Peterson left out a special board meeting minute from 2012 where recommendations against two students were discussed. The students, their parents, and council were present at the meeting. We know that the board declined to take action against the students, but since the families of the students did not waive their rights to be identified, the matter was not documented in depth. Sources close to the meeting tell us it involved an alleged case of sexual assault. We learned that school superintendent Paula Peterson and school board president Tracy Busick exchanged emails in November about how students they know are having a difficult time being in the school because of the current investigation. Blank has been trying to move forward. Blank sent a text the day all this started apologizing to the girl without telling anyone Blank did. And it goes on to say, girls continue to make comments when Blank comes into a classroom saying you shouldn't be here you should be expelled. In another email, Busick says, it's sad that a few ignorant parents just destroyed everything you guys have done to move forward. Later in the email, he goes to blame anonymous cowards and says, I don't think they're done questioning us and ignoring the problems and covering them up. And their main goal is destroying the school reputation. Busick also shows how unhappy he is with the people within the school who alerted the media to what was going on with the investigation. He says, I didn't think they were that stupid, but obviously they are. Bricks and glass houses are a dangerous thing. Jane Doe says she watched the news reports about Peterson blaming the parents, but says the problem starts within the school. They're telling people that it's the parents' fault that they're not controlling their children and that they're not knowing these things about their children and stuff like that. But really, it all stems in school because I think that, you know, the principal and the super really teach the students that they can get away with things. Jane says she wants to see the community and the school step up. Terry Baszler is not good at punishing people. Neither is Paula Peterson. So you think the school district needs maybe tougher 
tougher punishments, tougher penalties for some of the, the actions that students commit. Definitely. Superintendent Paula Peterson has said one student was disciplined regarding the police investigation. But for Jane, she is happy that people have tried to get the story out about what she says is happening to girls in Hillsboro and hopes others will take a stand. I just really want girls and parents of girls that might be going through this. I just want them to know that they're not alone. We also learned through the email exchange between Music and Peterson that the district made a mistake in school policy. School officials allowed students to be interviewed by police and did not contact parents beforehand. Peterson says after learning proper, proper policy was not followed, she spoke with parents. In another email exchange, Terry Busick blasts officers for talking to students in school, saying it was lazy police work and that in a small town there is no excuse that kids can't be found after school hours. Last Thursday, we received an email from the Hillsborough Police Chief. He did not tell us anything about if the investigation is ongoing or complete, but he said he is very upset with Valley News Live. The chief says in the email, Valley News Live has made Hillsborough Police Department look like they were covering up something, which we are not. He also says this is very embarrassing to me as the police chief of the Hillsborough, Hillsborough Police Department. I replied to the chief asking where the investigation stands, and I'm still waiting on that reply, Mike. All right, thanks, Ashley. Now, that story came to us from our whistleblower hotline. If you have a tip, call this phone number, 701-237-6576. We'll do our best to get to the bottom of it.